And I'm Grace Hume. Today is the last day to join the FBLA. Bring $12 dues to Ms. DeLon and NA202. If interested, FBLA will have a club meeting on Tuesday during academic study hall. Attention seniors, make sure you have joined the Shobi class for the senior project. The code is DPJ7F. If you have any questions concerning the senior project, job shadowing, or anything else, contact Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Costley. Mr. Wipke and Willow Gessner will be running a pet food drive starting November 8th and going through December 21st. Please donate any pet food that you would think would benefit these animals. Does your winter clothing not fit anymore? Is your younger sibling growing like a weed and you don't know what to do with the old clothes? Is your current winter wear out of style and do you want new? Or maybe you're just in the mood to give. Julia Pratt and Ava Vallant are holding a winter drive for the Peace Club. They would like you to donate their winter clothing to their winter clothing drive. Bring those unneeded, unwanted clothes to Mrs. Zillian's room in NB113. The clothes will be donated to the Beaver County Women's Shelter. They will be taking new and slightly used winter hats, clothes, mittens, earmuffs, sweat clothes, and jackets in all sizes. The drive is running now until tomorrow. Mrs. Mr. Whipkey's environmental science class has started a recycling program at the school. Please throw all plastic bottles and cans in one of the blue bins located around the school. Please do not throw trash in it. The Central Valley High School semi-formal dance will be held on Saturday, January 15th at the Fez in Hopewell. Tickets will be sold to the week of November 15th through the 19th. The cost will be $50 per person and $100 per couple. If there's any questions, please see Ms. Whipke in NA105. That's all we have for you today, CB. Now here's Jordan and Michael with a segment on foods class. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Michael Bineski. Here with Jordan Karczewski. And today, yes, today, we will discuss the foods classes of Central Valley. CB offers three consumer science classes that teach its students about how to cook various foods and how to eat that food to metabolize it and use it for energy. These classes are Foods for You, International Foods, and Eating Healthy. Each of them talk about different subjects, but all of them include cooking to an extent. These classes are all run by Mrs. Huffenegger. They include the preparation and cooking of many cuisines, familiar and unfamiliar, along with in-class competitions between students. These classes are great for people who want to go into a culinary arts course, or for those who just like to cook. Now here's an interview with Mrs. Hoffnagel, so you can understand a little more in-depth of what it's like to be in one of these classes. Hey, CB, I'm here with... Mrs. Hoffnagel. And I'm going to ask her some questions about her foods classes. So, how are your foods classes this year? They're going really well. It's nice to have everyone back in yeah. Speaking of back in the building, how are your foods classes over break when people are away? You mean like when we were synchronous? Yeah. Well, it was a challenge to accommodate students at home and in the building, uh, but I gave them the opportunity to cook at home and it was really nice to see so many of them take that opportunity and do cooking at home. That's a good idea. So have you made anything special in your foods classes this year? Um, I wouldn't say anything special that's different from years past. Um, I always give students an opportunity to come to me with ideas, and so a new one coming up is they requested to do a chicken wing sauce challenge, so we're going to try and do that coming up here pretty soon, so that might be special. Yeah, food challenges are always fun, not only for the students, but 
people voted on. Yeah. And so what type of competitions have you held this year? Um, we did a salsa competition, a uh, pizza wars competition, uh, we'll do cupcake wars, and um, we'll do a chili cook-off here in the next couple weeks also. That's great. So do you plan on changing anything in this class? Uh, not necessarily. I think, like I mentioned a couple minutes ago, it's nice when students come to me with ideas. So if I change anything, it would be student-driven when they come and they want to try something new or bring a recipe. We'll always make an effort to put that into class. All right. Well, you heard it. Let's get back to the CV room. Like Mrs. Huff said, these new classes are a fun and competitive experience for all students participating. Preparing and comparing different dishes can be a great experience for a student who wants a relief class between difficult subjects. Now let's take a look into the kitchen floor and experience the heat of the fire in working foods classes. Remember, the food classes in CV are a great experience for all students, and they teach you how to eat properly for the rest of your life. Have a great rest of your day. What's up, CV? I'm Sean Fitzsimmons. And I'm Bryce Hume. Starting off, we have to show you the sunrise that. Here's a quick overlook at the weekly forecast. Getting into the week, we start Monday with a high of 63 and a low of 39. Expect sunshine, winds will be light and variable. On Tuesday, there's a high of 65 and a low of 43. Expect mostly cloudy skies with some sunlight peeking through. Oh, wind are at 5 to 10 miles an hour. On Wednesday, there's a high of 59 and a low of 43. Expect mostly cloudy skies that will give way to full cloudiness in the afternoon. There will be a nice cool breeze. On Thursday, there's a high of 62 and a low of 49. It will be mostly cloudy. Winds will be present throughout the day. And finally, on Friday, there's a high of 59 and a low of 45. There will be overcast skies with rain showers at times. Winds are 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now we take you outside where lead meteorologist Sean Fitzsimmons is on the scene. How's it looking, Sean? Well, Bryce, outside of Central Valley, it is a cool 35 right now, but it should warm up throughout the day. We got a high of 65 in the morning, a high of 48 in the afternoon, a high of 65 in the evening, 50 degrees. You know, right now the sun is out, the birds are chirping. It's looking like a lovely day. You know, uh, it's a little chilly, so just keep that in mind, but it should be a beautiful, great day. Back to you. So that's my high school. That was your weekly weather forecast. Everyone have an unbelievably great day.